So as you can see, I'm having a lot easier time getting him to walk with me today with the Martingale collar. We're in the other neighborhood area. Good boy, yes, tall grass. So what I did, and I'm very, very pleased that he allowed me to do so. He did allow me to tighten that Martingale collar down by about three inches. Anytime we're working a dog on a collar, we never want it to be at the base of their neck. We always want it to be right behind their ears. And that is so it does not damage the trachea or the esophagus. And what I'm really focusing on, good boy, is having him start and stop his feet with mine. Because this is, in a very subtle way, and we always start subtle, we always start as light as possible, right? This is a very subtle way of getting him more in tune with me. Now, you'll notice he's not giving me direct eye contact, so that means he's not paying a ton of attention. However, that is okay. Little steps, right? Good boy. Notice how nice and loose I am on my leash here. My leash is short, however, it is nice and loose, right? So I'm just going to ask him to stop again. Good boy. Come on. Good boy, Kane. Good boy, Kane. Good boy. And now, instead of going back towards your house, I'm going to switch him up, right? See what he does when I go to take him back the opposite direction towards this other cul-de-sac away from your house. Let's see if he throws a little temper tantrum here. And Yep. Good boy. Good boy. He learned earlier that throwing temper tantrums doesn't really do anything, right? He's learned that the past couple times he's been with me. You don't, get, you don't get punished for it, but also it doesn't get you anywhere. This is so much easier. This is so much better for everyone involved, right? Just pay a little bit of attention is all I ask. Good boy. Good boy. And I do just, I, I don't always carry my leash like this, but I do just have my hand open to show you there is absolutely zero contact. Come on, little man. Absolutely zero contact on this leash. Good boy, and we're gonna make a turn right here. Good job, Kane. Good job, that's okay, come on. Good boy. And you see how that's so much easier than when he was in a harness and he's able to just lay against that pressure, right? Hi, sweet pea. Hi, do you wanna smell? Nope, okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna gently go in, I'm just gonna gently touch. Good boy, I'm gonna gently stroke my back of my hand. Good boy. Good boy. Nice and relaxed, right? He's paying attention. He's a little bit suspicious. Good boy. But you're more than anything just focused on getting back to the house. That's totally okay. You see that person in that car up there. Touch just a little bit on the back of the little head. Good job. Touch just a little bit down the front leg. That's okay. He really doesn't like that. I'm just going to do it again. Kind of miss the front leg. Good boy. Do you see the ears backing just a little bit? He's saying, woman, you're pressing my territories. I know I am, but you did so good. Let's keep walking. I'm going to let him think about it for a minute. All right, come on, Kane. Good boy. Did you notice how he got really stiff and he kind of stood there? He goes, I'm suspicious of you right now. That's okay. I'm going to back out of your space, right? And then again... Now that we're not in such a sunny area with not as a lot of cars around, I can see everywhere around me, I'm going to do it again, right? So I worked with just him stopping, right? Originally just starting and stopping our walking with our feet, right? And now I'm going to slowly, good boy, and gently start to encroach on those little barriers there, right? Gently brush all the way down with my hand. That's okay. I'm just going to stop him. We're going to walk in a circle because I didn't ask you to go anywhere. Good boy. We're going to stop again exactly where I had you the first time. Hi. How you doing? And I'm always going to greet his eye contact with happy verbal communication like that and a smile. Right? Good boy. Because it pleases me when he looks at me. I like when he does that. Good boy, Kane. Good boy. That's okay. Good boy. Good boy, and I'm just not, I'm not going to do something ridiculous like reach down and just grab his foot or something. That's okay, good boy, you're alright. Good job. That's okay, I will take it. And eventually, I will be able to reach down and pick his feet up, right? Nice and slow, on his time. But also, I'm going to work on breaking those boundaries a little bit, right? 
Good boy. We're going to stop again. Good job, Kane. Good job, Kane. I'm not going to touch him this time. Good boy. Let's go. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Nice, happy, verbal praise, right? I always tell people you can never lie to your dog, right? Good boy, come on. If you're starting to get frustrated, if you're happy with them, regardless of what you're feeling, if you're sad, your dog knows it. The reason dogs are able to be service animals is because they can legitimately smell the chemical changes in our bodies. That's why they are able to perceive and detect things that we cannot. Good boy. Good boy. Now this time I'm just going to bend at the waist and pet. Good boy. Good boy. I know where my hand is. I know what his body looks like. If I'm going to touch him, I'm watching his face. I'm seeing which direction that head turns, right? Because if he goes to start making eye contact or giving me some, you know, eye contact that's telling me to back off or that he's not comfortable with what I'm doing, I want to respect that, right? And so just another quick example, hi, with the feet, because you really hate having your feet touched, that's okay. A lot, of, a lot of dogs do. That right there, that's what I'm looking for. And I'm not going to immediately take the hand away. Good boy. But I'm not going to continue to move down towards his foot, because he told me, with just that little bit of the tilt of the head, right? And also, he's trying to walk away. You're uncomfortable with me doing that. That's all right. I'm going to watch his face. Start to turn towards me. I'm not going to take my hand off of his foot. I'm going to keep doing it. Good boy. Good job. And now that he is more relaxed, not even looking at me, now I'll take that hand away. Good boy. Because if we just automatically take the hand away when he says, I don't really like that, he is learning that he can just tell you what to do and what not to do. We want to respect his boundaries, but also we're going to start pushing them just a little bit, right? And that's what I'm doing anytime I'm touching him. I am pushing a boundary, right? He doesn't really know me. He doesn't really care for me. That's okay. We're going to work on that. Good boy. I'm here to be your friend. Sure am. Sure am, hot boy. Say, sure am, hot rod. Good boy, you hot little dog. Good boy. Really nice. Good boy, Kane.